Stonehenge on Salisbury Plain, a Neolithic burial site of ancient Britons, an alignment upon the solstitial axis, a site seemingly steeped in religious significance. The Saracen stones weigh on average 25 tonnes and are thought to originate from here in the south of England. The smaller blue stones, they were here first, but current thinking is they come from the hills in southwest Wales. That's over 150 miles away as the crow flies. For a long time we've believed that men transported the stones, but what geologist Brian John believes turns that whole idea on its head. We all know about Stonehenge, don't we, from the time that we grow up as small children. The, the idea of our her heroic Neolithic ancestors carrying these stones all the way from, from West Wales to Stonehenge. And in my view, that is a totally unnecessary hypothesis because uh, we have a much simpler explanation, um, and that is that the, that the stones have been carried by ice. And we know that the ice that actually moved across the Bristol Channel crossed Pembrokeshire. It was a huge glacier called the Irish Sea Glacier the ice brought the stones to within striking distance of Stonehenge and that people then had to simply collect these stones up before building them into the monument. Some of the explanations of how they might have been transported are as mysterious as the stones themselves. They used stone ball bearings basically where the stones were shaped into pure spheres, absolutely perfect spheres and working together they can be run in traces in a rail and actually roll like wheels. The way this works, we've got tracks on the bottom, put these pre-drilled things on top, and this defines the, the width, and this provides the platform upon which the stone would sit. The balls fit into the rail here, and then this moves forward. As it comes out the back, you put it to the front. And this is uphill. This is uphill. That's quite impressive. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I have a major issue jumping from finding some balls in Scotland to making something as elegant as this. If they're smart enough to do that conceptually, cognitively, this is not that big a leap. There's one guy who may disagree with both these ideas. He's got his own theory about how these beautiful stones got to be here. And it's being put to the test by moving stones up in Yorkshire. Gary Levin's approach has to be the most novel yet. This is four tonnes. The principle is we're going to roll it like that. And to do that, we're going to make it cylindrical. And using the techniques of woven materials, so the rock is inside a giant basket. And we're going to roll the basket. Gary, hello. Oh, hi, now then. <laughs> Tell me about this rock. Well, that is one hell of a rock. That's, that's four tonnes. Oh, hold on, you've got two. You've got an inside and an outside basket. Well, really, with all that should be woven structure. This is just dead weight, really, but it's, I, I ran out of weave. So, really, this is like a giant tyre. What evidence is there that this is the way they did it? We've got loads of evidence for woven structures. These structures were used for round houses, used for fencing, used for road surfaces. There's more evidence for this than there is for anything else. How many people do you think it's going to take to move this? Well, I'm hoping minimum 10 but I suspect around about 20. A rugby team? A rugby team. There's the lads at the back. They're gonna push it. They're gonna start us off. These boys have taken up the tension on the rope. As soon as it starts to rock off the plinth, bang, we're off. Go! Yeah, we're up, we're away! Go on, it's go away. on! It's go on! Away. Go on! Keep, go on, keep, keep, keep it going. going! Keep, keep it going! going. Go keep it going, Donald! Keep going! Keep it going! Keep it lifting! And keep it going, keep it going, we're in a hole, we're in a hole! Get it lifted! There's a slight dip in the field, but uh, there's enough manpower here to move it. This is not easy. Come on! If you look at the basket there on the side, Come that's on. not supposed to be moving like Come that. On. The weight of the stone inside is causing all that basketry to move. Okay, but you can see it's all flexing. Well done, team! Are you happy? I'm thrilled to bits, really. 20 tons is like 20 metres. Do you think that's where our ancestors did it? This is a possible way. And if I was knocking around 5,000 years ago, it's the way I would have done it. How our ancestors actually moved the stones to Stonehenge? We may never know. But trying to work it out, great fun. <laughs> <laughs>